Hello, YouTubers, friends, computers, losers, shills, dust, lacers, peasants, vassals, minions, meat sacks. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to talk about the 70th anniversary of the Holocaust. And uh, as everyone knows by now, we have these uh, 70th anniversary uh, memorial services at Auschwitz. And uh, once again, we find that uh, even an issue like this that's uh, so theoretically supposed to bring people together is just more political opportunism. And so I'm going to talk about the Holocaust as political opportunism. And I, I'm not going to get into the Holocaust industry that uh, the state of Israel and the Zionist movement has uh, created, because that's a much larger topic and something I would like to probably cover in another video. Uh, but we certainly know that the, the Holocaust is used to justify any and uh, every outrageous uh, policy of the Israeli government and uh, um, every kind of uh, outrageous statement that comes out of Netanyahu's mouth uh, taps into this uh, global guilt, this global guilt that the Zionist movement has put on the world in order to facilitate the Zionist agenda. But uh, like I say, um, that's a, a topic for another day. But we look at this Holocaust uh, Memorial in Auschwitz. And here we have the Soviet Union. Uh, Soviet Union were the ones who actually liberated the camp. And, and in fact, my understanding is that it was actually Ukrainian units that uh, uh, liberated the camp at Auschwitz. And yet, Russia and Putin have, were snubbed uh, to uh, be uh, present at this memorial. So here we have this Holocaust Memorial uh, once again being used for political opportunism and uh, more uh, more uh, divisiveness in the world. And, and, and the irony on top of that, of course, is that all these speeches given uh, at this Holocaust Memorial by all these hypocritical uh, world leaders uh, talking about how they want to um, stamp out uh, all this uh, divisiveness and, and all this religious animosity and all this uh, 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 violence that's created by pitting people against each other and yet here we see the Holocaust Memorial being used for that very thing. And, and, and I, I also want to add that uh, the Holocaust Memorial is interesting in itself because we have once again global guilt uh, being addressed at this uh, event um, but we have to remember that uh, during World War II, over 70 million uh, people were killed, 45 million civilians. Uh, every culture has a tragedy. But we do not have a, a global guilt culture or a global memorial for the genocide of Native Americans. We do not have uh, these sort of uh, ceremonies uh, for the Armenians. We do not have these kind of ceremonies for the Rwandans. We don't have any of these kind of ceremonies, uh, global ceremonies, uh, for any other in the world. And yet we have this uh, Holocaust. Um, it's almost as if the Jewish narrative uh, is, is the most important of all the tragedies in the world. And I, I, I certainly recognize the dynamics involved in the Holocaust. Um, I realize the, the, uh, the state's involvement in the sy uh, systematic uh, a very uh, ruthless um, e and efficient uh, system uh, that they set up for such a diabolical um, uh, end result or final solution, as they say. And uh, I know there's many who uh, question uh, the Holocaust, and uh, certainly all of these events, no matter how sacred or how uh, revered they are, they are not untouchable, and I think anyone should feel free to examine that material. I, I don't really want to go there myself, uh, but I understand that culture and I've seen some of the material and some of it's fairly interesting, but uh, overall uh, I have no reason not to believe um, that the Holocaust happened. Uh, for one thing, the uh, German government was so efficient that uh, everything was uh, documented, heavily documented, and, and that in itself um, in so uh, that's, like I say, another topic. So I, I want to add something else to this as well, though. It's rather interesting that uh, Putin and Russia recently uh, celebrated the uh, anniversary of the Yalta Conference during World War II, uh, the meeting between uh, Stalin and Churchill. 
and um, FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the American president. And yet, uh, the Putin and Russia actually dedicated this, and they didn't remove the statue of FDR like the U.S. would do um, under these circumstances. FDR is represented, and they had the ceremony, and they had it in Crimea, which just adds uh, more poetic justice on top of everything else. So, so anyway, that's uh, what I want to say about the, the Holocaust Memorial. Apparently, it's all right to use the Holocaust Memorial and have all these European leaders uh, basically um, create an atmosphere of hate against uh, Muslims and fan the racism that's going on in Europe against Muslims. Um, but uh, somehow uh, fanning the flames of uh, anti-Semitism is, is, is a whole different game. And we know that because uh, you can print these uh, horrible racist uh, cartoons uh, in magazines like Charlie Hebdo in, in, in France. But if you uh, uh, speak publicly about denying the Holocaust, you can actually be put in prison. So this, uh, this, uh, this uh, global mythology is, is now codified uh, in, in all over the world in different ways, and France being a notable example. So uh, there we have it. Uh, this, uh, it's just despicable that all the European leaders can get together for this Holocaust memorial and uh, just use it for more political opportunism political opportunism, but uh, then again, why would anybody be surprised? I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?